What's going on everybody? My name is Lois. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be about project management. I'm going to be starting a new tutorial series on web development. I'll be using HTML and CSS and I'll be developing a portfolio website for a project. So to do all that, I need to manage the projects. I need to know what are the things I need in that website, how I'm going to build that applications, how many pages do I need, what kind of colors I need and what kind of font I'm going to use. So before you start any project, you need to manage that. You need to organize the thing step by step. Well, this is what I'm going to do first and then second step, third, fourth, fifth. So you need to design that uh, layout of the application that how are you going to build that application. So to do all of those things, I use this application named Trello, which is completely free. All you have to do is just open Trello.com and sign up. If you have a Gmail account, then you can log in with Google. What I'm going to do because I have a Gmail account, so I'm just going to log in. So once you log in, you will see this page, right? So we have one board right now, which is a tutorial board. So don't worry about that. We are going to create a new board. And I'm going to give you a tutorial of this application as well. So let's create a new board and I'm going to name it portfolio web. Okay. And let's click on create to create that board. Now, once you create that board, you will see a menu on the right. This is the menu. We'll look at this menu in a second, but let's uh, look at this, how to add a list. So let's say I'm developing a portfolio website. I'm going to add a list. So let's say web. Campo Nance. Okay. And then I'm, I need pages. And then I will make another list of development. And then I'll say progress. And then done. Okay. So we created a few lists here. Let's go to the first list. So I'm going to add a list in it. So what I need is I need a text editor. So let's just say text editor. Okay. I need to use HTML, CSS. Okay. And then how many pages do I need to have in that application? So I will just say three pages. Okay. And then what it's going to do for me, it's going to be portfolio how I'm going to build this application using brackets. Okay. So we created few items here and then let's talk about pages. So how many pages do we need? I need an index.html page. I need contact.html and then I need about page as well. .html. Okay. And then we'll look at in the development, let's say I'm going to be uh, developing this index uh, page. So what I will do, I'll just drag this and then I'll drop that in the development. So this is currently developing. So in that, I'm going to add a few more things. So what are the things I need in index? So I need a header, right? I need a body for the page. I need a footer for the page, right? And then I will add another list, which will be, which will be telling me that what are the things I'm going to put in header? What are the things I'm going to put in body and how I'm going to design the footer? So this is pretty simple. That's how you can create a list of your application. And once you're done with the list, you can simply drag that to the done. So you know that you have done this part of your application and then you'll go to the next. So this is how you can uh, look at the progress of your development and make sure that you don't skip anything or make sure you don't forget anything. So before you start any project, you need to design the layout. What are the things you need? How are you going to develop it? This application helps you to manage all of those things. And I'm going to show you a few more things here. So I'm sh I've shown you that how to create cards. And uh, now let's go to the menu. So here we have change background. These are the few settings, stickers, pop up filters. You can check them out. And then here is subscribe board. So these are all the options for the board. So if you want to share this board and if you want to work with someone else who's helping you in the project, you can share this link and they can uh, join you in the board and help you out to design the application. So the collaboration is pretty great as well. Now, a few more things here. 
So let's say if I click on this card and then I will see this menu and here I can add members to it. I don't have any friends in uh, Trello yet, but if you have any friends, you can add them to to collaborate with this project. Now you can add the comments. So let's say if I have HTML and I need to remember something that I'm going to do this to make it responsive, I can write a comments. I can add the description of that card as well. So in the page, let's go back and then let's look at the, the index page. Where is it? it's going to be in the done? So I'm going to bring it back to the pages and let's click on that. So in that, I'm going to add a description that uh, I'm going to have in the index page. I'm going to have six projects with images, right? And then I will have a footer with social links, right? And then we can just type a copyright statement, copyright statement here. Okay. And then I can save it. So once I finish this, I will always go back and look at the description, what I write here. And then I'll make sure that these are the things done before I put this card into a done list. And on the right, you can add uh, labels to the card, such as to color this. If it's an error, if it's not working, you can just color them, which will help you to recognize uh, different cards. This is really cool as well. You can write the comments. These are emojis here. Uh, a few more things here. Check it out. You can attach the file here from Dropbox, Google Drive, from your computer. And you have a copy, subscribe, archive. So archive means that uh, you're going to delete this. So once you archive that, then you would be able to delete that card. All right. So there's an attachment feature as well. So this is how I manage uh, my project whenever I start a new application or any new uh, web. So I make sure that I design these cards and I write out everything what I need in that application. And once I'm done with something, I will drop that into a done card. So this is how you can um, check your progress of your development and make sure everything is done. And uh, yeah, this is a great app. Check it out. And at last, I just want to say that this is not a sponsored video. I just like this application. This is really good for managing your projects. So check it out. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions about any tutorials I've done on the channel, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at OasisMirza01 and you can contact me over there. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.